Hello, Eastern West Virginia Technical and Community College students. Welcome to uh, Art 100 for Fall 2024. So at the beginning of every semester, I usually make one of these quick little videos just to let you guys know what to expect, um, kind of where to find everything in the course, kind of important logistics, as they say, and then basically how to get an A in the course. So let's keep this short and just kind of jump right in. These are the learning outcomes. So by the end of the course, by the end of the semester, these are all the things that we will do throughout the semester. Um, and they'll come in a variety of different ways that you'll do them. So the basic umbrella of the course will say what everything is underneath of is how do you look at art, right? What are the different ways in which you can look at art and what can gain appreciation out of that? Hence art appreciation. So let's keep go, keep rock and rolling. So just some kind of housekeeping, bookkeeping stuff. So attendance is tracked through your discussions, quizzes, exams, and essays, and that kind of stuff uh, throughout the course of the semester. So you're expected to meet the course deadlines. You have an entire week to do all of the work that's assigned in this class, with one small exception, which we'll talk about later. Um, Late work is usually not so considering that you have that amount of time late work, especially for discussions is something that I usually don't consider. But if you know ahead of time, especially um, my family and I are going on a trip to my grandmother's house and she lives in the middle of nowhere and Internet is spotty. Contact me as soon as you know something like that and we'll try to work something out and get you um, other to catch up a, or kind of work ahead or get you caught up. Well, just contact me. Don't be like three months later, be like, hey, can I take that test? OK, so new assignments will be available on Saturday of each week and then the following Friday they'll be due. So right at midnight on Friday night, Saturday morning, there's like a switch over that happens and new work becomes available and old work disappears and is due. So just try to write that down, make a post-it for yourself and put it on your computer that every Friday something is going to be due in this class. All right, so this is important. So just to, this is kind of a screenshot of where we are in the course. So the welcome start here section, that's where you would find this video. And underneath of that is a syllabus and assignment schedule. This is gonna be really important because this is gonna tell you exactly when that work is gonna open and then when it's going to be due. And it's broken down by week um, each time. So if you ever see something in the course and you're like, wait, why is that due? You know, maybe it's something that should have, that you shouldn't be seeing yet or something that you're seeing for too long, don't hesitate to shoot me an email, but this schedule is pretty much the what you would need to follow. And of course, if you have any questions throughout the semester, don't hesitate to email me at any time. Okay, so the first discussion and quizzes are gonna be due on the 23rd. So when you very first enter the course, the top area up here doesn't looks a little different because this is an older image. There's this calendar. And then underneath of that, it's going to break down, excuse me, when stuff becomes available and then when it's going to be due. So this is a really nice feature that Brightspace has for you. So what do you need for this course? There's, there's no book for this course. What you're going to need is a computer and reliable internet access. So you're thinking to yourself, well, how are we going to learn about this stuff if we don't have a book? and all we're going to do is just have it through the internet. Basically, all the information is going to be presented in video lectures as part of open educational resource. They're very much like this. They're almost all, the bulk of them are made by me. There's a couple of other resources that we use. Um, they're not perfect. They're not amazing, but they do get the, the job done and they're going to supply you with all the information that you're going to need for all the tests and discussions and that kind of stuff. And you can find them right in the units. And then usually 
the lecture is there, and then the quiz for that lecture is usually right underneath of it. So, and you can of course always go back and find things. If you're taking the test, don't hesitate to go back into the lecture and look and double check or um, read the discussion question before you watch the lecture. So that way you're like, oh yeah, that's what they're talking about in that. So that's what they're there for. All right. With that being said, there's a couple quick statements I want to make. So one of them is a basic syllabus change statement, which is that things may change throughout the semester. We have all lived through the pandemic, so we're all kind of aware that stuff can change at any moment in life. I'm going to give you guys written notification. There's going to be announcements and emails, and if something changes, I will let you know, and I will try to let you know as much in advance as possible. More importantly, this is kind of relating back to the video lectures. Um, this course has a lot of aspects of things that may be uh, slightly uncomfortable for some people to see. We're going to see nudity. We're going to talk about things like uh, human sexuality, religion, um, death, genocide, persecution of certain groups, sexual preferences, things of that nature. So I just want to prepare everyone for that. We're all going to be, this is like a college level course, and all of those things that I just mentioned and more are part of the human experience, and that's what this course is about, and we're all going to kind of be adults about um, that. So you're going to see a little bit of nudity remember that, that that nudity that you're seeing is in an educational context. And then the second part underneath that is the Title IX notice. Any derogatory language that would come up in course is not going to be, I'm not going to tolerate it, Eastern's not going to tolerate it. So um, certainly leave something like that out. So it's this is very important kind of like just to to prep you guys, I don't want you to go in blind, that there, there will be some maybe possibly difficult conversations. All right, so moving on. Okay, exams and tests and quizzes. So like I said before, there are these kind of lectures that you'll see and then the quiz is usually underneath of them. Each quiz is worth 100 points. There are exams for units two and three that are basically like review, it will be, they're not reviews, let me clarify. They're kind of like refreshing and putting all that information from that unit into one exam together. So that way you can see how things relate. The first unit is not going to have um, a, a, an exam. It has an essay that goes along with it, which uh, there is a ton of information about that essay. There's a video lecture, there's a rubric, there's written instructions, there's links, there's everything that you need in this kind of subsection that's underneath for the formal analysis. That won't be till week five of the class, so it's a little bit, we're jumping the gun a little bit, but I want to let you know where this information is. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, discussions. So just to clarify, Discussions are not optional in this class. Previously, I've had students be like, we didn't think we had to do this. You know, we didn't think we had to do them. They're graded. They come out and are worth more than any individual tests once they're all combined. They're, most of them are worth 10 points. There are one, maybe two exceptions where you have to reply. It's like a, like a chain. Um, so those are worth a little bit a little bit more. You find them up here at this top bar. There's a discussion section there. And then there's always going to be this one visible called contact each other. That's like if you have a general class question that you're like, maybe this isn't an email worthy, but I just want to know because I keep seeing X on the course. Is that normal or something? You can ask kind of questions out to the larger group there. This is the rubric for how the discussions will be graded. They need all need to be 100, uh, 100 words, I'm sorry, to kind of get that full um, credit. Then are you using 
relevant vocabulary terms from the unit? Um, are you discussing the content that's being asked? If I'm asking a question about, is this artwork symmetrical? And you go into talking about how in the image it looks like your cat, you're maybe not staying on topic. All right, so this brings us to the first discussion, which is gonna be due Friday. So in this discussion, this is basically introducing yourself, kind of putting yourself out there. So this is a who, what, when, where, why, and how um, type of question. You don't need to read any material to go through this. It's basically, we wanna kind of get to know each other a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and go first here in this video setting. So my name is Lacey, I'm the instructor here. So I studied um, art and art history at West Virginia University, and then I got my master's at Clemson University with a focus in uh, fine arts and ceramics specifically. So when and where would, in time would I go if I had a time machine? And I think I would go to Europe right uh, at the beginning of the Northern Renaissance. So that time in history is also a time when the world was kind of coming out of, we just all lived through the pandemic. And that is another time in history when after a kind of catastrophic thing like that, people were coming, coming out and kind of improving their lives. So I'm very hopeful about right now and the future because of those kind of things. Quick note on that. There's a history element to this class. So don't be that kid that's like too cool for school. That's like, I just go surfing. So it doesn't matter where in history I go, right? Give that question a little bit of thought, give it a little bit of interest because we might be reflecting on something that you're interested in or might look at a culture that you're interested in. And then just for fun, how do you get your caffeine? Do you drink pop, tea, or soda? Um, I'm a coffee person, personally. Um, yeah, with cream, no sugar in it. So if you're not a coffee person or not a caffeine person, don't ever start, because then you'll get dependent. All right, so that's what I want you guys to do. I want you to answer this before Friday. You don't need a book or anything. Just get that done. All right, and again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. Um, you can enter art 100 in the subject that gives me kind of like perks my ears up to make sure I get everything done. Uh, I usually answer emails within 24 hours for the majority of the time. Sometimes I'll email you that like I'm away from my computer, but I'll get back with you, um, you know, day after tomorrow or something like that. So it's going to be a great semester, guys. Thanks a bunch.